Well, Gladys, thank you very much. We are coming to you live from Meru, actually Maua area, whereby we are in Kerendene village that is in Egembe South constituency, where it has just been thrust into the public limelight after one of its own, that is 24-year-old John Paul, became the newest member of parliament. He is still the youngest taking over from Kenoti Igatobu, who had been elected also in Meru County in 2013, that is in Bore constituency. And right now, we want to get his full story from where he has come from and uh, what were his aspirations and what actually drove him to want to become the member of parliament. He actually says that he comes from a very humble background and we would actually want to know what is all about what my cameraman is showing you is John Paul, the youngest member of parliament at this particular time. He has just been elected on an independent ticket, flooring so many people who actually thought that they have money. And actually, uh, from what he has told us outside the camera, is that people thought that he will not make it. But he says the drive from the electorate and the money that he has been given has actually thrust him into this. Now, we are joined by John Paul. John Paul Habari Na. How are you doing? How are you feeling now? I'm sorry. I'm fine, thank you. John Paul, I'm quite appreciating the people of Egembe South constituency for electing me as the member of National Assembly. Uh, National Assembly. Yeah. John Paul is not a very well-known name in Egembe South, but you have flawed people who had money. How does it feel as of now, John Paul? Uh, there is something I have said uh, first. I would like to thank the people of Egembe South. Many didn't recognize me as I was moving because I was moving door to door as I was doing my politics. The citizens of Egembe South, these are the guys who assisted me more even to move so that this name can be or this name can grow. So who I can appreciate more it's the citizens of Egembe South here. Yeah. Uh, looking at it is that media reports say that you're actually 24 years old and you go to school. What is your age and when were you born and is it true that you go to school? Yeah, I would like to correct it there. John Paul, I'm not 24 years old. I'm 23. I was born in the year 1994, date 7th, January. That is the time I was born. John Paul, I went in a public primary school, Oriaki Primary School, then to a day school, Kirdina Day Secondary School, then to a university, Mount Kenya University, where I am taking a degree in uh, education, that is Bachelor's of Education, uh, History Kiswahili. I am in, a, I am in that day here in Mount Kenya University. Yeah. Well, you born in 1994. Actually, so many people of your age would actually be right now, maybe probably wasting their years away. But you've driven yourself to becoming one of the youngest members of parliament. What drove you to want to become a member of parliament? This is just uh, the way I show the people of Egembe South constituency the working of the leadership which was there. Uh, and I decided that as a young person, the people who had advised to uh, uh, to just assist the, the ones who was, who was money, I decided that I would stand on the gap of the young people so that the problems which they go through, John Paul, I have had gone through those uh, problems. And I decided to uh, to mentor these people uh, through my leadership because uh, nimeminaelewa it is hard that maybe in your campaigns or during your campaign period you're telling people that the idea of you running for parliamentary seat came to you in a dream. Is this true? 
Yeah, it was a dream. On, 20, on day 26, that is the time uh, this thing happened. Uh, I appeared as I was sleeping. Uh, I show myself uh, just tabling a motion in the parliament. Then many people within the parliament, they were, they were raising many questions. And the following day, I went to school where I proposed to my fellow students that come 2017, let them vote me, and they decided to assist me. Then as I was just moving around, uh, around Gembe South, one of the chief uh, go to, uh, reported me to my principal. He told my principal that uh, I was just smoking bangi, na principal la kanita kwa office yake. Wakati ambapo aliniita pale kwa ofisi yake akaniuliza kama chenye chenye amesikia huko nje ni ukweli nikamuuliza ni kipi hicho ambacho alikuwa amekipata kule nje akaniambia amesikia nilikuwa naomba naomba kura ya MP nikamwambia mama si uongo naomba kura ya MP na hata ukirudi pale nyumbani ukienda just go and tell my dad to vote for me na akani akanipa mawaidha sana akaniambia John Paul ningependa sana kuwa na mwanafunzi wangu ambaye angekuwa kiongozi sababu pia hii shule yetu tutakuwa tunapigwa mfano na nikaamua kuendelea sababu aliniambia niendelee na kusiwa na mtu yote ambaye angeniambia niache niache but the time came even the husband to my principal decided to vie he was vying with a jubilee ticket then we were competing with him atujawi kwa sana kwa hizi nini siasa tumepiga siasa ya amani tukiwa naye ama kule tulikuwa tunakutana naye kwa mikutano na Mungu akanisaidia nikaweza kushinda huu uchaguzi bila bila kukosana na yoyote that is an interesting twist that you're actually bringing in at this particular time because you tell us of a situation whereby your chief actually came to school, told your principal that you're smoking bang. You're the principal called you to the office to, say, to ask you if it is true that you're running for office. Then later on, the husband to the principal takes time to actually come and compete with you and you flood him. Yeah. Uh, by the way, it was uh, during the... Uh, uh, for after one year, that is when uh, he started. But I was happy to compete with my own teacher or my own role model. Because even many people, as, I, as we were just ama wakati mungine tulikuwa tunaongea kwa uwanjo kwa mikutano mingine, people were being interested to listen to both of us. Oh, you are na maoni mapi ama na maono mapi ya hii gembe yetu. Then what about John Paul? What did he have about our constituency? So they were just weighing us with that because what you were selling to the people of Gembe South was ideas. And I know that uh, my ideas outdo out or outdone the ideas of my, my mentor. Now, well, John Paul, as you've just told us, is that you're a young man and you don't, it is out of the help that you've gotten from people. Mm -hmm. How did you traverse this constituency? Did you have money to traverse? What have you been doing to get money to actually even traverse this constituency? I didn't have any cash. I didn't spend even a single coin to move within Igembe South, but I was getting cash from the, from the people of Igembe South who are providing me with uh, some cash so that I can get something to eat on the way. Then other guys, my peers, Bodo Bonda operators, were the ones who were providing me with their motorbikes so that I can, I can uh, move easily within Egembe South constituency. So if I can say I have not used anything, but it was the effort of the people of Egembe South constituency, uh, then effort or the effort which or the power which God gave me to move within this Egembe uh, South. I had a passion with the people of Egembe South. So I was not uh, discouraged even when I didn't have even a coin in my pocket. I was just having courage to move within this constituency. 
you've also even said one of the most interesting things that I have heard, because this is not the first interview that we are having with John Paul, there was actually a queue from very many media houses who wanted to hear from John Paul. And it is even said that this, the, the clothes that you're wearing, it is the people of Egembe who actually even sponsored you. And even the sweater that you're wearing, it is one of the most iconic things about you. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Paul of Ambayo ni Ime ni taftia kura sana sababu wale ambao tulikuwa tunasindana na wao walikuwa wanauliza wananchi wa Igembe why choose this uh, 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 gentleman who cannot know how to dress well he can dress only uh, with pullover and a hangover suit lakini sisi tunajua kuvaa vizuri mbona mchague mtu ajui kuvaa vizuri lakini wananchi wao wenyewe wakasema huyu kijana ambaye anjavaa suit ndiye tunataka pia sisi avae suit na alafu nilikuwa nafunza watu ama wananchi wa Igembe kuwa uh, mtu mwenye ana kazi ndiye huwa anapewa kazi sababu wao wengine wote ambao tulikuwa tunashindana na wao hakuna mwenye ana kazi na kwa hivyo waliweza kuwa wanasema kila mmoja alikuwa anasema afadhali kupatia mwenye ana kazi kazi na hii iliwapa motisha pia wale wanafunzi wale ambao wanasomea katika day school wako na ile well eh, ya kuendelea kufanya ama kuendelea kusoma kwa bindi sababu wanajua one day one time they can be great people within this constituency uh, with this job that you're going to get, uh, one of the things, because I am a parliamentary reporter, is that you'll be having access to millions of shillings as the patron of the National Government Constituency Development Fund. How do you want to develop the people of South, or of Yembe South? With these millions that will be, you'll be actually allocating unakuja, watu wanakuambia, tunataka hii, tunataka hii. How will you be able to manage all these millions? And what motions, now that unatuambia it came to you as a dream, what motions did you see yourself tabling and is it likely that you'll be tabling this, some of these motions and bills in the house? Yeah, there is uh, uh, in Egembe South constituency, most of the people are um, uh, tea farmers and they how like uh, these guys to be proud of the activity or the farming which they normally do within this uh, constituency. Uh, they how like to be tabling some of the motions concerning the tea, uh, tea farming within Igembe because this is the livelihood of the people of Igembe South. Na nikiwa napeleka kama hum swanda wa nini wa majanchai najua Hii ni kitu kimoja kile ambacho kitaweza kumsaidia mkulima wa majani chai sababu lazima tuone kama tutapata mahali ambapo wana watakuwa wanapeleka chai yao alafu the tax uh, the tax ile ambayo huwa wanakuwa changed kama ingekuwa reduced ili aweze kusaidika na uh, Eric since we came here and we were waiting to have an interview with him, we have seen several ladies actually walk here and probably they are prospective of this new status that John Paul has actually achieved. And it will be interesting just to hear from his mouth whether does John Paul have a girlfriend or does he intend to get one now? Uh, within the term which I will be in the office, that five years I will... I will be having one so that uh, she can be assisting me as I take on my duties because I want someone who will be just maybe leaving me well after. So right now you do not have a girlfriend? Right now I do not have. Well, uh, it will also be very interesting to hear a word because he has become an overnight celebrity. And if uh, Eric can show, there are so many people waiting just to hear from John Paul in this area. This is Kirendene Primary School where he has been ha conducting interviews since morning. And he has actually been talking to them and also the media just trying to tell them what he is all about and we would also want to hear from those people some of his friends some of those people who have helped him in the campaign just to get a picture of how they feel and how it has been habari unaitwa nani mami mimi naitwa Liz Queen Jepchumba Mugambi kutoka Maua Antobosho location na tumeambiwa kwamba pia wewe ni miongoni mwa wale watu ambao 
uwe alimsaidia. Je, imekuwa vipi? Sisi kwanza mara ya kwanza ningependa kujishukuru mwenyewe na kushukuru watu wa maua kwa, kwa jumla kwa kuchagua kiongozi ambaye hajakuwa aja influence kwa hata influence watu kwa sababu ya pesa ana pesa yote lakini tumeamua ya kwamba tutachagua yule tumechaguliwa na Mungu mwenyewe kwa sababu ni kijana shupavu ambaye tumeona uongozi wake hata kwa yale matendo anafanya bila pesa tunaona ni kijana ambaye tukiendelea naye tutafika mbali watu wa Igembe South hmm. yeah. na mlikuwa mnaendesha kampeni zenu vipi hawa wewe ulimchangia pesa kwanza kwanza kabisa tuli huyu kijana tulimjua wakati wa mwisho mwisho wakati uchaguzi naelekea kuisha na tukaamua kwamba sasa tunataka kuchagua kijana ambaye ana influence from godfathers huyu ni kijana ambaye amejitokeza mwenyewe kwa uwazi na watu wa Gembe South nataka kuambia kwamba tumechagua the right choice na hata to fail and i'm sure that you're not going to fail us well those are some of the sentiments coming from this area that is Egembe South constituency which was previously held by Franklin Mitheka Linturi who has now moved on to become the senator of this great county of Meru and some of them actually uh, as you've heard is that he was coming and he was getting even help from Boda Boda riders and he has actually said that he was Mtu wa Mjengo uh, but he does not shy away from that fact but him the underlying factor is the fact that he is insisting he is here to work for the people of Igembe South constituency. He has flawed people, as he has actually told us, is that the principal of the school from which he schooled is the, is the one that encouraged him to actually run for political seat. Then again, the husband of that principal came and decided to run. He was running on a jubilee ticket and he flawed him. It is something that uh, has sent him to be an overnight celebrity in this particular time and we would want to as we've had his story we know that so many people who want to interview him and actually get a feel of what he is all about but as of now from here again the south constituency uh, we get back to you in studio